Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly today I got a request. I thought it was a great one since it's currently unfolding and just happened is Chrissy Teigen and the loss of you know the representation of her kitchen items, her products. Uh, so a lot of people are pulling them off their shelves, off their uh, catalogs and whatnot. Um, as I was shuffling prior to turning on the camera, I'm sitting here saying, okay, how is Chrissy feeling today? My death card fell out. Yeah. So, so here we go. Uh, I can't imagine. She's got to be in a pretty piss poor place, to be honest, uh, from bullying. It was due to bullying and telling another woman um, to drop dead, kill herself, yada, yada. Um, and, uh, so due to those bullying and, uh, encouraging someone to hurt themselves is why. And, uh, well, you know, cause and effect, justice card finally, uh, took hold on her and she's paying the consequences of it. So let's see how she's handling dealing with the consequences of her behavior of, um, bullying publicly telling someone to drop dead. Here we go. Yeah, you just can't uh, vocalize everything you want. I guess this was something she did in the past and it's coming back to haunt her. So here we go. How is she coping with the repercussions of her behavior? I know she put out an apology, but um, apparently they feel that it was a just trying to get her contracts back. And many times that's how it is with these people. It's not really true a true apology. It might look, look like it on the surface, so it will pop up probably in the spread here if she's truly sorry or not or how she's feeling. So we'll see what the, what the energy has to say and I'll go from there. So here we go. How is Chris, Chrissy Teigen feeling about um, the repercussions of her words? How is she feeling about the repercussions of her actions and words? Here we go for the first card. We have here the five of wands in reverse. So she wants the conflict's over. She doesn't want to fight anymore. She's tired of fighting. She doesn't want to fight anymore. And she feels with the knight of swords. Yeah, this basically is ready for battle. Wow, huh. fighter energy. She is ready to fight back actually. So she did a fake apology is what I'm saying already. Even though the challenge went into reverse because that battle's not happening anymore. And it was, in the, it was something that happened before. She still wants to fight. She wants to fight for her uh, for her, her reputation. She doesn't like having her reputation soiled. And we have here, she wants a new emotional start. So yeah, she wants a new emotional start. She wants to restart. She wants, she, this is a, an, a, this here also, you know, is, is just like an epiphany of an emotion. Like, okay, I screwed up. It is an epiphany. All aces are an epiphany. And it's an epiphany of emotions uh, and what it's stirred up in someone else. And she doesn't want to fight with her anymore. She doesn't want to fight with her anymore. She doesn't want to fight with the public. And she's ready to fight for her, for her uh, reputation. Next, what I have here is she's not going to try and, she, you know, she knows she has to hold back her words. Uh, and this was very, uh, you know, what she did was really immature. And she should not have said what she said and she's feeling it now. So she is feeling it with the Page of Swords in reverse. Um, anytime you see the pages in reverse, uh, she's, she's learned something because in the upright, uh, that is a fresh path, it's low emotional IQ. So she does suffer from a low emotional IQ, but she's learning. She is learning. Um, she's in the upright, the sword is very insensitive and deceitful and gossipy. But she's trying, she wants to change that. So she does want to change and work on herself. She does want that Ace of Cups, that epiphany of how words can hurt people has, has really affected her. She's learning. She is growing. So that's good. I'm seeing some positive change in her, actually. She's, she's suffering. She is realizing this. And she realizes that she's not the authority here, the Emperor in Reverse. Uh, she realizes that that was being a dominator and she was being inflexible. Uh, the outcome here is it affected her star power. Nobody wants to work with her and it was the wrong path to go down. Uh, and that is not and healing in reverse. What she did was not healing. 
Uh, she's trying to heal. She's not healed now, uh, but she's working on healing. If she was healed, it would be upright. It's in reverse. She's not healed from it. Her words were not healing. Her words were very painful, hurtful, uh, deception, uh, dark. Uh, she's not the authority figure here. She really thought that she was just the cat's ass, basically. She's got a very arrogant way about her. Uh, very arrogant way about her because she thinks she's the Knight of Swords. I can say and do what I want. You know, in the past, I am the emperor. I'm going to say what I want. You can't stop me. I will do what I want. You know, I am the celebrity. I'll say what I want. You know, I have low emotional IQ. I'm very reactive. I will do and say as I want. I will fight with you if I want to fight with you. You know, so just get over it. And so she created this emotional storm. Um, she's realizing the error of her ways. She really is. Um, so that's positive. That's really positive. She is learning. So I would say the fact that she is learning, uh, she's not, um, she's not uh, a hopeless case. I guess you could say. She's not completely hopeless. She's got some healing to do. So let's find out which were her next, um, where she's headed next. Where is she headed next? Where is she headed next? What's going to be the outcome for her? What is going to be the outcome for her? What is going to be the outcome for her? What is going to be the outcome for Chrissy Teigen? For Chrissy Teigen. Here we go. We have here, she's going to work at it. She's going to work at being a better person. You know, better energy. It's, you know, we've got this pentacles. That's energy. So she's going to work at, at her energy here. She knows she's got to work at her energy field. Uh, very negative energy, and she's got to work at it. This is something that's going to take time. Uh, and we have here, and she's got to go into isolation. She needs to go into um, solitude. She needs to go into a period of solitude and work at it. So this sounds very, to me, this is actually a kind of trying to get into a high vibrational period here. And she is going to not do anything right now because her courage and her strength is in reverse. Um, she knows what she did was wrong. Um, and a weak-minded individual and not a leader. She's not a true emperor. She's not a leader. She was a dominator and it affected her and it cost her. So she's going to lay low. She's going to lay low with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Uh, and she's not, go and she's going to go into ice. She's going to take off, go into a peaceful place. This guy's taken off to a peaceful place and she's going to work on herself. So that's good. That's, I'm happy to see this. I didn't know what I would find here. And she then will come forward. Eventually, when she feels healed enough, she's going to come forward with the Knight of Cups. And she's going to express this healing period that she went into, uh, looking at herself, trying to raise her vibrations, and try and announce to people, look, I'm changing. I'm trying to change here. So she will come forward with this new revelation uh, that I'm going to use my emotions in a better way. That I'm not going to just do it and, you know, be this warrior spirit here. Uh, I'm going to calm myself. I'm going to try and be more grounded. Because this, these two cards are someone who's trying to become a more grounded individual. In all honesty. Within isolation and working on themselves. And working on their energy field. So she is working on her energy field. She realizes it was super low vibe. In the center of it here, we have here, yeah, the Queen of Wands. She's not, you know, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is that warrior princess, warrior queen. She's the warrior queen. She is the one that leads the path. She knows that she's not going to be the warrior queen. She's going to try and temper that, try and calm that, that energy down. Because this is what got her into trouble. You know, the queen, the queen of wands, you know, ready for battle. They are lit fire energy. Um, she's got to tone that down. She's got to tone it down. <clears throat> and she will. She's going to tone it down. Absolutely. Then she's going to tone it down. So that's good. And so it's looked like it's going to work. It will work out for her if she's raising her vibration and she's working on herself. So it's, it's, it's really good that she's not... Um, She's not being a total narcissist where she's not taking accountability. Um, I was thinking maybe that's what I would end up seeing in all honesty. But it's looking like she's taking accountability for her actions on a private level too. Not just publicly, 
but privately. Privately, she is working on it. So that is what my um, finding is. And let's find out what will the retailers do with her, you know, it might still be too late with retailers because once you do something like this, it's it doesn't matter if you come back and say, I have worked on myself and you, you know, you, you make your case. I, uh, it might just be too late. So let's find out what will the retailers do with her raised vibration and uh, taking accountability and clarity and insight. What will they do with her? What will the what will the retailers do? Will they accept her back? Will she ever be accepted 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 back? Here it is. Well, we have here the earthquake. We got the earthquake. It was a sudden earthquake. They pulled, boom. We're taking it away from you. So the fact it's in reverse, they might think about taking her back. Um, they might say, okay, we'll think about it. And we have here, because they are in control. So they will think about it. That's what that's saying. And we have here, ooh, Trinity working together in reverse. So far, they're not working together. We're not working with you right now. Trinity working together in reverse. So that is the team, the teamwork card in reverse. So right now, they're obviously saying no. But as you know, because I've said this before, that reversals can always be flipped this way. Um, but it is an ending, you know. It did come to an end, but they're gonna think, they will always think about possibly maybe in the future because it's in reverse. That sudden ending's in reverse. So they might flip it. They might flip it. They're in control here. They're the ruler. But right now, no, we're not gonna work with you right now. Uh-uh, not gonna happen. And we have here, and the, the growth. They, they want, subconsciously, they're gonna wanna see more growth coming from her. And in the center of it, what we have here is scourge in reverse. So that is the negative self-talk and releasing pain. Um, scourge upright is the, you know, the person who works against you. Um, and so they felt that her words and what she did worked against them. It worked against the corporate um, belief system. It worked against their cultural beliefs, uh, the way they want their um, the people that they represent to follow. She worked against th the system. She worked against the system, and it was a growing situation too because she does have a big mouth, and she can't, she couldn't shut it up. So it was a growing situation. They realized it was a growing situation. They earthquaked her. And so they can always unearthquake her. Is how I feel. They can unearthquake her, and uh, but they're waiting for her to grow more. But right now it's looking like hands down no, and it may always be no. But let's calculate and see what happens because that might tell me. So that comes to 10, 23, 26. 26 comes to seven of diamonds, finger of God. <clears throat> so basically, it was meant to be. Her big mouth. And her bullying, this was a karmic thing for her to learn. It was a karmic lesson that will end up with four. Four comes to straight razor. Ooh, no, no. They're never taking her back. Uh-uh. That's why I like calculating. No. They're gonna, they're never gonna take her back. Her her kitchen selling appliances is over. It's never gonna happen again. And it was a finger of God. She was meant to learn this. She worked against the system. No one's going to want to partner up with her again. So she's going to have to recreate herself into something else. Who knows what that will be? <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out. What will she do next? What will she do next? I'm going to try this deck. What will she do with herself next? What will Christy Tegan do with herself next now that... People are just going to pull away from her and straight razor her. She's been earthquaked and straight razor. Cut out. So what will she do with herself? Will she make more babies and just stay home? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. If we see that Empress card, she will probably just stay at home and be mommy. And do the best she can with that. So here we go. What will she do next? What will she do next? What will Chrissy Teigen do next? There we go. Well, we've got here the Page of Swords in reverse. 
with the Five of Wands upright and the King of Wands upright. So the way I'm feeling about it with the Page of Wands in reverse is she's just going to stay quiet. She's going to shut her trap. Not going to say anything. And with the Five, the five of Wands, uh, she's got still conflicts to work through. Lots of conflicts still and in her creative energy and being feeling energetic to even do anything. So it's kind of, it's going to make her feel um, powerless in many respects because she's not this queen of wands energy where, you know, I'm that, that warrior queen. Uh, she doesn't feel that anymore. She's, she got herself in all these conflicts and now I got to shut my trap. And she's going to rely on her husband, the creative musician husband that she has, King of Wands. She, she's raw, she is going to put all her energy into her marriage is what she's going to do. All her energy is going to go into her marriage because it possibly could have caused some issues there um, because of her big mouth. Under the surface, we have here Six of Wands in reverse. So that's victory in reverse. She feels like she completely failed and she completely failed her husband and her family. So she's at a kind of an emotional rock bottom, really. She's, she's suffering. She's going through a dark night of the soul is how I'm feeling. That's kind of the message I'm getting right now. She's going through a dark night of the soul and she is having to explore her own dark thoughts. That would be the devil card in reverse. Um, so yeah, I really feel that she's doing some dark night of the soul um, uh, looking at herself. And then we have here the nine of wands in reverse. So there's no fulfillment right now. And um, she is just not feeling victorious. And so right now, for the near future, she's, still, she's just in this whole dark night of the soul, soul searching, working on her family, keeping her mouth shut. Uh, she doesn't feel the emotional strength to be creative or even speak out. And she's just going to focus on her home life. Uh, primarily her marriage because of the marriage, this, the husband here, and he is a very creative individual. So he is definitely a king of wands. So yeah, she's just focusing on that right now. She's, she's going to focus on the home, the homebound stuff. And that's exactly what she should be doing. So that is the right, that is the right move for her. That is exactly what she should be doing. Uh, let's get some Kipper. Kipper. Get some kicker and Chrissy Teigen. There we go. So yeah, she's gonna work on her love, on her love life, on her marriage, on the loves of her life, her children and her husband. And this one here, yep, the official person. She wants to keep him official. She wants to keep her marriage. So it's probably put a damper in her marriage. Uh, it it put them in strife. So she's putting all her energy here. Re you know, she's just going to focus here. That's good. That's healthy. It's what she has to do. I, I applaud that. Um, it is the right move. So she is going to she's going to shut down her words. And that's exactly what she has to do. So, yeah. Not too complicated. It's pretty normal behavior, in all honesty. And, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye.